I'm gonna show you a really clever way to use your DJ software to handle requests like a boss. Don't use scraps of paper. Don't forget why you're playing tracks for people when you finally get around to playing them. There's a better way. Let's take a look. So we're gonna use color coding to do this. So let's say you're in the middle of a gig now and someone approaches you with a request, they want this track here. So what you're gonna do is immediately color code it. Use the same color every time someone does this. And then you're gonna do something else as well. You're gonna to say to them, uh, okay, uh, tell me uh, who it's for and why. And you're gonna put that information into a spare column. I'm using a column called grouping here, which you can select your columns from down here. By the way, I'm using Serato here, but this works in any software that's got color coding, which is most software nowadays. So we've now got against this request a color and the reason why. So a little bit later, someone else comes along and requests this song here. And again, you're gonna say, yeah, no problem. I'll play it for you in a bit. And over here, you're gonna put um, the, the reason that uh, they wanted it and their name uh, as well. So at this point, we're starting to get a lot of requests building up and we are uh, all on top of it. We know why people are wanting them. We know, uh, we know uh, the names of the people and all that stuff. Uh, this is Bill's uh, birthday as well. Okay, so a few requests in there. So why are we doing this? Well, of course, you've now got the information about the person and the reason, which is always a good thing. But otherwise, you might have to drag these into a separate playlist. But now we can go through our night's playlist and very quickly see the tracks that we've uh, got uh, handed in as requests, right? So we can see whether we played them or not. Um, when you have played a request, you could right click on here uh, and take off that uh, color there, or you could, um, Wait to the end, and if you wait to the end, there's quite a clever way of doing this as well, you see. You click onto the column there at the end, and all your requests are gonna be at the top here in one place. And this is cool, because it means you can highlight them all, and then you can right-click the color and say, get rid of color there. So that's gonna get rid of the colors of all of those. And also, over here, where you've got the reasons and the names, you can uh, click on any one of them, click delete, hit enter, and they'll all be deleted as well. You don't wanna keep that information right. That information's only useful on the night. So now we've just wiped our uh, collection clean of all that night's nice request, ready to come and do it again the next time. It's a really simple tip, but it's an awesome one. I wanna thank uh, Jesse from our community for giving us that tip. Good on you, Jesse, it's a belter. If you've enjoyed this, please like, share, follow, do all that stuff, and I'll be seeing you back here again very soon for another DJ tip.